It is a growing problem all across the Southland, even now in our neck of the woods. Motorcycle clubs doing stunts on the freeways, and those stunts do take a deadly turn, as witnessed this past weekend when one person died doing a stunt right here in the Inland Empire. Our Kitty Alvarado joining us now here in studio with that story. Kitty. The California Highway Patrol says they're seeing these clubs doing stunts on freeways more and more. This one claimed the life of a 28-year-old man. But what exactly is it about these high-speed motorcycles that make people take risks? We visited a local shop where they specialize in these bikes to find out. This video looks like something out of a Hollywood movie. A group of motorcyclists going down the freeway at high speeds performing stunts. But it's real life. So real, a stunt similar to this one where a man stands on top of his motorcycle was killed on Sunday morning on the 15 freeway near Corona. A GoFundMe page says the man who died is 28-year-old Leslie Elliott, an Army veteran who leaves behind a 5-year-old son. The California Highway Patrol says stunts like these are on the rise. And to do them, motorcycle clubs create their own traffic brakes so they can have the freeway to themselves. We showed the videos posted on social media under the hashtag ruthless riders to a motorcycle expert at Palm Springs Motorsports. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Oh. The guy got a little sketchy that he's getting. Oh, man, that makes me want to go ride. He says club members don't consider this a hobby. It's a lifestyle, and, uh, you know, these guys are doing it because they have a passion for riding. And they often balance experience with pushing the envelope. You're an adrenaline junkie and you know what you're doing because this thing is capable of close to 200 miles an hour. I call them affordable Ferraris. He says he understands the other side too. It can be a little controversial sign because it is dangerous and they are doing it on the freeway. But the CHP says it's inconsiderate to other drivers, dangerous and illegal. But TJ says most motorcyclists who get hurt don't let the risks deter them. He points to his own close call on a dirt bike. And so when that happens, do you think in your head, I will never ride again? or No. I th you think it's the opposite. You're like, I can't wait to get back on my bike. The CHP says it's sad because someone lost a son, a friend, and a father. They say these stunts belong on a racetrack and not on the freeway. They hope this trend stops before more people get hurt or killed. I'm Kitty Alvarado.